Hi everybody, Cheaply Chic. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today I am going to jump in and share with you guys a completed flip through of my home sweet home journal that I finished up. I am in love with this journal. I hope those of you who had this journal also really enjoyed working in yours. Oh, yeah, so let's just get in to the journal. So I had taken a couple beads from my stash and just added them to the end of the seam binding, but the journal came wrapped in. I also used that pin out of the kit, added some beads from my stash, and that's really all I did to the front of it. Added my little beaded bookmark here. And then this little bottle cap and sticker I had included in the collection as well. And I ended up punching a piece of the wallpaper that was in the kit. And I was going to add it to the front of the book, but then I decided to make a little flag out of it basically and just glue it onto a piece of ribbon and pin it onto my journal. And I just love that. I think it's so cute. So this was my first process video spread where I just started, you know, building some pages in the journal. I created some tags on a video here. I haven't edited that one yet, but I know that I did <laughs> create some of those things. So this was a decoupage napkin out of the collection. And then I just collaged some things on there. One of the cards that I had in my stash. I just, it was a playing card. I made it into a journaling card. So I just added a coffee stained glassine bag here. I stitched it. I actually cut it, stitched it and glued it in, made a little tuck spot, added one of the collage tags that I made and then just added the tag out of the collection. Tied a few of the fibers at the top there. And then this is just some ephemera that I had in my stash. So I clipped that in there, added a little bit of ribbon, collaged a piece of the napkin from the kit. And then this is one of the bags. Again, I just cut it down, which I'm fairly certain is in a video too. So I just machine stitched a couple of these bags. This was the top portion of a glassine bag and I just added them together and made like a little double tuck. This was a tag out of the collection and I just decoupaged that cauliflower on there. And here I just added one of the punches in the collection and put a sticker on there. This one I had stamped. This is a piece of manila file folder and I just cut it into a journaling tag. This book page that was in the journal here, I just stitched some of that leaf trim that we pick up at Hobby Lobby. I think that's super cute. This label I just left alone that was in the book. I can write on it if I want to. Here I made a little tuck spot out of the dictionary page that was in the kit and I just added some scrap paper that I had laying around and then just a piece of paper recipe card. just clipped in the tag out of the collection. This trim is at Dollar Tree, at my Dollar Tree. I've been seeing it over the last couple of months and it is so cute, I love that. Here I just added some fabric washi to that page, some laces to that page and I just clipped in some more ephemera. And then here on this page, I think I made this coffee dyed envelope on camera. I filmed those a couple weeks ago, so I'm having a hard time remembering. I just added some doily to the back and another one of those seed labels to the front. Tucked in one of the seed packets from the kit and I just cut a tag to fit for now. So we'll see what ends up happening with that. As I'm using the book, I did the same thing here and just added the guest check, added some laces. This page here, I used the paper from the collection, made a couple tuck spots and some more stamps that I had in my stash that I don't typically reach for at all, but they were just so much fun and went so well with this collection. They were fun to play with. Another playing card, I just added coffee dyed paper to the back. 
This page I did in the first video, just cut some book pages, made some tuck spots, added some recipe cards. Some really pretty trim that I had in my stash. And then another one of those tags I made on camera. This page, I decoupaged a napkin on this pocket here. Added a little sticker and this is another tag that I made on camera. Love that. This piece of music paper had come in my, in my kit. So I loved that, a study in grace notes and yes. <laughs> I'm so thankful for the grace in my life. And I love that this says 1927 on it. And I just decoupaged some napkin pieces, tied the little milk, Tim Holtz milk clip here. And that is my library pocket from the kit. Okay, just some more laces, glassine bag. This is the one that I cut the top off of and added and added to the front of this bag. So I just stitched it closed. You could glue it if you don't have a sewing machine, but then you get two pockets out of it. Another fun can label. Here I made a couple pockets out of a book page from the kit and just tucked in some extra tags and pieces that I had. That's a napkin background that I added on that tag from the collection. This mason jar tag, I just did a little decoupaging on too. And the last one of those. Seed label pocket. This was the book page. And in the video, you saw that I tore mine a little bit. So I just added some masking tape to give it some protection there. Double pocket, just some, put some scrap paper in there. Another one of those tags I made out of a manila folder. This book page, I just added a glassine bag out of the kit. This was a piece of ephemera that I had. I just made a little tuck spot and added another one of my tags. Some more lace. And then on the back, I used the playing card from the collection, machine stitched it, glued it in, made a pocket out of it. And these are just some extra pieces that were left over and I made a tag out of that and then one of my tags again. And then on the back, I just made a belly band out of the wallpaper sample, added another playing card, journaling card, and that is it. I wanted to make sure I didn't cover too much in this journal because like I said, I wanna add some recipes and just have a fun, I don't know, maybe some of my own favorite recipes favorite recipes from family events and things like that. So we'll see, but I love this. I think it's adorable. If you guys watch my videos, you already know, but for those of you who might be catching up, this will be the last collection I have for a few months, probably. We are getting ready to move to Florida from Indiana. <laughs> so we are getting our house on the market. We're getting some projects done and we will be packing up a moving van and heading down the country. So a lot of big things happening here. And yeah, I already have papers for the next couple of collections. So as soon as I get my bearings and get my feet on the ground down there, there will be collections again. Hopefully in the meantime, I will be able to share some other projects and hopefully just create some journals along the way if I can switch gears mentally and get those kind of things done. But I will definitely be sharing along the way. So yes, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.